So if you're someone who actually spends a lot of time reading API documentations, system design of a lot of system, maybe reading a lot of technical, non-technical books, then in this particular video, I would actually let you know that how you can actually increase your productivity by creating a dedicated AI workspace where your AI agent is not going to actually hallucinate a lot and in fact is going to restrict all of the answers to everything that you are going to specify. In this video, we are going to talk about Notebook LM, one of the most widely used applications nowadays. And this is something that I also use daily to improve my productivity. So without any further ado, let's just start. But before starting the video, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, do consider subscribing because we are going to put some really awesome content coming up ahead regarding tech and career. So let's just start. So, so before moving forward in the video, if you're somebody who is actually looking to learn Spring Boot and want to develop a career in backend development in Java, then you are at the absolutely right place. So now we have actually launched the second iteration of our Spring Boot cohort, where we are going to talk about a lot of interesting backend development topics in Spring Boot, right from the beginner level to the very advanced level. We're going to start with basics of what is a build system. We'll start learning about what are basics of databases, what are basics of Spring Boot, and slowly and steadily we'll move to advanced topics like how you can actually implement distributed transactions using the Saga design pattern, be it the choreography Saga or the orchestration Saga. We are going to talk about the design aspects of some of the very interesting projects, including making a distributed wallet, including making an Airbnb based backend booking system. We are going to talk about how you can actually play around with geospatial indexes and how you can make an Uber booking application altogether and whatnot. There's going to be a lot of important topics that are very frequently used in day-to-day -day backend engineering job, which will actually help you to get the idea of what exactly it looks like to develop these kind of like scalable applications. So if you want to turn up your portfolio into an absolute Spring Boot beast, then do check out the link in the description section below and use this coupon code to get maximum discount off on the cohort. And I'm really excited for you to join the cohort as well. So let's just resume back to the video. So this is the homepage of Notebook LM and you can say that Notebook LM is a tool where you can actually prepare kind of like a workspace. You can feed dedicated source of information. Now the best part about Notebook LM is that it's not going to take internet as a reference to answer your question. It is going to take all of your sources. The sources can be PDFs. You can have book uh, PDFs. You can have some other AI docu API documentation PDFs, system design PDFs. You can put website, YouTube videos, right? Google Docs, Google Slide, and a lot more. So you can give a set of, I would say, sources, and it is going to parse all of those sources, prepare a knowledge base on top of that sources, and then it will start answering your questions. So if you will click on Try Notebook LM, it will actually open an untitled notebook for you, where it will ask you to add sources. Now here you can see, you can add dedicated Google workspace where you can upload everything on Google Drive and link it. You can have website links that you can actually put. You can put multiple website links. You can put a YouTube link as well. You can paste some text that you want to put as a source and whatnot. All of these things are going to be already available. Now, let's start with something interesting. So let's say you want to build a career in AI and you want to start learning things about machine learning, deep learning, AI and whatnot, right? So let's say you want to learn all of that but of course there's a lot of scattered information on the internet and if you go to gemini or if you go to chat gpt then they are going to give you a lot of information from a lot of sources so let's say we want to actually learn everything from a dedicated book right so i have actually used the fast ai book right so that is going to help you learn uh, everything around deep learning using the fast ai library right so here you can see what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on choose file and here I have all the PDF files for all the Python notebooks, which is technically the complete book in itself. The, this book is available already on GitHub. So I have chosen the open source way to actually give the sources to Notebook LM. And all I'm going to do is I'll just select all the PDFs, click on open, and that's it. You can see 
it has started adding everything as a source it's going to parse everything read everything and then understand and start building the complete knowledge library now of course maybe you want to add things beyond pdfs right so let's say you want to actually add some sources on some youtube videos right so let's say uh, you want to understand about neural networks you want to understand about back propagation right so there is very interesting tutorials on the uh, youtube channel of three blue one brown right so i have some links directly coming up from there so i'll just copy a few links right and you can see if you have already added some sources you want to add more sources you can click on add source and then i'll go to link i'll go to youtube and i'm going to paste all of these youtube uh, tutorials right or maybe you can just do it one by one i'll just copy paste it like this so copy add this insert and the other sources also i'll just quickly add here we go okay so you can keep adding more sources altogether and you can see it will take up everything and it's going to build your knowledge library now you can say that it's your workspace now whenever you have to refer about anything around deep learning anything around neural networks anything around how to train your own models this is the place where you will come you don't need to actually separately go to chat gpt or gemini this is where everything is going to be actually answered so let's say let's let's you can see it is already giving you some of the pre-prepared question you can ask more questions as well like for example how do deep learning models use weights and automated mechanism to learn effectively i'll just click on this question and now it is going to just use the sources that i have given and start giving us answers right so you can see it's already reading all of your sources it will see what's the best source to give the relevant context to your question and starts answering so let's wait for it and see what it actually does and here you go you can see it has started writing the answers right and the best part is whatever references it is actually using right it is also giving us the links to that for example it is saying that weights the w in the linear equation of wx plus b and the bias the b define how a model operates on its input and now you can see where it is give, getting this information from this is getting this information from this particular pdf and it is also giving us where exactly it got it from so every particular source it is going to use and give you the relevant context altogether for example let's say if i ask that how can we use cnn using or i, I would say how can we use cnn with fast ai right let's say if we actually give it that let's see what kind of answer it actually prepares and here you go you can see dedicated answer it is actually giving us to use a cnn with fast ai you generally need to follow a top down approach start with data preparation data block and you can see it is also giving you the uh, a bit of relevant code context as well that how exactly things needs to be done now if you carefully see on the left hand side i have actually selected the fast research model now one thing that you can actually do is you can do deep research as well so that whenever you want any specific answers you can actually do a deep research on top of that right and you can even use web or let's say a google drive link in order to do more research apart from these sources that you have selected now interestingly it's not just the chat interface that is interesting here which you can like ask questions to it's the right hand side panel which is the notebook lm studio in this notebook lm studio you can see there are a lot of interesting things for example if you want you can actually create a dedicated mind map you can create an audio podcast you can create a video overview of everything you can prepare flashcards quiz slides reports data table everything for example you can see it has actually prepared a mind map for us you can see this is your deep learning journey it has introduction core concept practical application if i click on practical applications here you go you can see it has automatically taken a question discuss what these sources say about practical application in the larger context of deep learning journey and you can even play a bit more with it for example so if i just zoom it in you can see there are data handling techniques deployment let's talk about deployments right you can see how you can actually use jupyter notebooks how you can take inference on servers what is drive train approach everything if you see domain tasks computer visions nlp tabular data collaborative filtering all of this and then maybe you can start asking questions around natural language processing as well so you can see it's creating a mind map for you and on top of that mind map you can ask more questions now apart from this let's go back to the studio and let's see if we can create an audio overview of our, of everything so let's click on this 
and now it is actually creating an audio overview and the best part is this is going to give you a podcast that you can actually keep listening maybe when you're going for a walk when you're going for a run or maybe when you're just sitting idle it's very great and very interesting if you have long pages of requirement docs api docs and you just want to summarize and just listen to them on the go right so let's wait for it and see what kind of a podcast it actually generates and you can see here i have generated all of the things here you can see there is an audio podcast that i created there is a small infographic that i created there is a video tutorial also video overview that i created and there is a slide deck so let's go through everything one by one let's start first of all with the audio podcast okay so i'll click it here and let's play and actually see how it is concepts the impact this is for you we're taking a top-down approach here so show what it can do welcome to the deep dive so you've given us this huge stack of sources on deep learning and our job today is to uh really distill this field purpose way to update all those millions of weights to and just you can nudge see the performance it in the has right actually direction. created kind of like an audio summary around deep learning basics right so let's move ahead pretty quickly and let's see the video overview as well so here it is and let's play all right today we're going on a little journey into one of the most powerful and maybe misunderstood technologies of our time deep learning. And I do mean a journey. We're going to start with the basic ideas, look at some mind-blowing applications, and then we'll get into some of so the really you tough... Can see what if we could just there. flip that whole idea on its head? What if we could build software that learns millions of little numbers inside the model? And you can see it there has the things explained getting tweaked and tweaked over and over again during that training group. Right? It's talking about they, what is deep learning, what is parameters, right? What is a loss function, how we minimize the loss, everything it will actually talk about. And interestingly, I also created a dedicated set of slides right so let's actually see it from here so you can see right your journey into practical deep learning deep learning is for everyone how machines learn training loop first model state of the art in six lines of code etc so you can see everything in one place and you can actually refine your output as well if you want this to generate a particular audio podcast for one of the sources you can actually do that right so that you can have more in-depth analysis on one resource altogether right and then of course once you have everything loaded you can start asking it more complex questions right like for example what is back propagation right and then it will again read your sources right this time you can see for back propagation calculus i have added some youtube tutorial so it's going to of course parse other things around that and give you relevant context so that's the power of notebook lm right it you can create a complete learning workspace ask it dedicated questions right for example if you have an api documentation that you actually got and you need to build an application on top of it you can ask interesting corner cases you can ask requirement related question clarification questions everything instead of just searching in that long pdf of requirements and you can see here also we have our dedicated answer around back propagation right so that's i believe a very interesting a very good part as an ai tool it is providing you everything that you need to know for learning anything you can create quizzes later as well you can create reports later as well everything will be right in front of you so I would say do check out Notebook LM. I daily use it for a lot of interesting things in my software engineering workflow. It saves a lot of time for me like in order to search things because a lot of times when you are coding applications, you have a very restricted search space. You have dedicated use cases. You have your own system design documentation, on-call runbooks and whatnot. You can feed everything to it and then it will start answering questions for you. So do check out Notebook LM, create your first AI workspace. And do let me know in the comment section below if there are more interesting use cases that you try to actually solve using Notebook LM. I'm planning to make a dedicated video on how you can actually use Notebook LM to prepare for upcoming software engineering interviews. So if you are interested in that kind of like a topic, do let me know in the comment section around that also. And if we found enough comments, we will definitely make a video on top of that. That being said, let's wrap this particular video here. We'll meet soon in the next set of videos. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. I'm Sanket Singh, signing off.